When it comes to the question of gender, our culture is really screwed up. There's a school now in, the, in America where they're told, boys and girls are told, that if you want to be the other sex tomorrow, you can do that. A boy can become a girl, a girl can become a boy. On the other extreme, we have a lot of people that take the position that women know your place, know your role, men are in charge, men are the leaders, and you have no place in taking any kind of leadership role whatsoever. You know, in the middle of all these crazy debates and all this confusion, there's one question that stands out. What does it mean to be a man? What does it mean to be a woman? I wanted to understand the answer to that. I wanted to hear what God has to say about that. And after studying it, I've come to this conclusion. And it's the big idea of the book, which can be summarized very simply in two parts. Part number one, a woman is most feminine to the degree that she's relating in a way that reveals something wonderful about God that no man can as fully reveal. And a man is masculine to the degree that he, by the way he relates, something different but equally wonderful about how God relates by the way he relates. And that's the definition of what it means to be relationally feminine relationally masculine. I've dealt with lots of problems in my years as a psychologist, sexual abuse and divorce, miserable marriages, all sorts of things. And I believe that when you get beneath so many of these problems, you discover that men and women are not living fully alive in their gender. Arminaeus, a third century theologian, said something that's gripped me for years. He said this, the glory of God is a human being made fully alive. And that made me ask a related question, so what does it mean to be fully alive as a man, fully alive as a woman, for the glory of God? That's what the book is all about, fully alive. What does it mean for you and I to be fully alive in our gender? What is God's vision of gender that frees men and women to live beyond stereotype? The answer may surprise you, but far more important than whether it surprises you or not, I think it might free you to be exactly who you are by God's design. That'll bring joy. Get the book. There's a downloadable study guide available through newwayministries.org.